In this English lesson, I will teach you the difference between since, 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 and since. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you the difference between five words that sound like since, that are pronounced since. So since, S-E-N-S-E, -S -E, is a feeling or perception. Like the five senses, like touch, taste, sight, hearing, and smell. It can also be used in like a phrase like a sense of humor or common sense or a sense of responsibility or for something to make sense. Some sample sentences are, my sense of smell isn't very good or he has a great sense of humor. I sense that he doesn't like me or the new president has no common sense at all. The next sense is S-I-N-C-E, -E, which means from a time in the past until now, or can kind of mean because. So some sample sentences are, since I was very young, I've been interested in science, or I haven't talked to her since yesterday. Or another one, since he's a vegetarian, he won't eat any meat. That's the one that's used like because. You could say because he's a vegetarian, he won't e eat any meat. Or since he's a vegetarian, he won't eat any meat. Now this next sense is C-E-N-S-E. -E, and you don't really hear that very much. It means to burn incense. Like a sample sentence is the priest will sense the temple. I wouldn't worry about that one too much. You probably won't hear it. And the next sense is S-C-E-N-T-S, -E which is plural for the word scent. It means like a smell, usually a good smell. So a sample sentence is, what is that scent I smell? Or the dog followed the scent of the rabbit. Another one, I love the scented candles that you bought me. The next sense is C-E-N-T-S, which is again another plural, plural for scent which means pennies or a penny. So a sample sentence is, they were very poor and only had a few cents. It's not very expensive. It only cost a few cents. All right, so here's the quiz. So try to answer in the comments. The answers will be there or in the description. Maybe you'll have to scroll down. Try not to cheat. Try to answer it first before you look at the answer so that you can learn. All right, so. On these ones, fill in the blank with either one of the four cents. I left out the one. So, sense, 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 or sense. So, number one, blank, she left him. He's been very lonely. Number two, can I borrow a few blank from you? I didn't bring enough money with me. Number three, I love that smell. What is that blank? He had no blank of responsibility. Okay, again, the answers will be in the, in the description for the video. Scroll down. Try not to cheat. Try to answer it first before you look at the answers. And remember, if you want more practice, then try making your own sentences with any of those sense. Leave it in the comments and I can help correct your English, give you some feedback, and you can practice. You can always practice in the comments. Practice whatever you want in English, and I will help you, correct you, give you hints, tell you maybe how a native speaker would say something that you've written. And that's all for today's lesson. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, down here, you can click to sign up to get some free eBooks from me to help you with improving your English. And then down there, if you want, if you have time, you can watch another English lesson for me. That's all for now. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.